everybody, what's up? OCD Mikey, Hi-Fi Guy, your favorite black sheep in the audio industry, kicking ass and taking names. Uh, or is it not taking names and taking prisoners or whatever the hell? Who knows? You get my drift. You catch my drift. Um, anyways, um, again, love you all. Thanks for your business. The more you keep giving me business, the better I'm going to bring you guys results. So anyways, today what I want to talk to you, because this I don't charge you to give you advice. You guys get free advice from me. 23 years in the business as a career, and I'm going to give away the advice for free. I don't charge for it. Um, and what I'm going to do, give you right now a great way, some, some advice and, and a suggestion, and a great way to improve your uh, grounding for your audio, because you've heard about this before. The ground, the grounding in your audio rig is extremely important, uh, because there's spurious uh, currents that run through the gear, and they need to be drained off. And, and these are little currents that I'm not talking about for like shock you, the ones that are like electrocution, that's safety ground. There's other things such as signal ground that is on your gear. Every piece of gear that you have has a power supply in it, right? That power supply has a specification of leakage current. Every power supply has a little spec in the line item, leakage current. And that tells us how much of that current leaks out of that power supply onto the ground plane on the PC boards, okay? So that means that, and, and, and as you may or may not know, that ground plane on the PC boards is used as a zero volt reference to make your amplitude for your signal. Okay, so it's like when it needs to make this, this line, right, the sine wave, it needs to have zero and know how far up to go to make the song. Bum, 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 right? So it needs a zero volt reference. If you have spurious current, leakage current on your uh, ground plane, which every piece does, it's just a matter of how much, if you drain it off, it makes a difference. You can hear it, okay? Also, furthermore, if your safety ground, a lot of times they tie that signal ground to the safety ground in most pieces. So that means the, uh, the signal ground, the ground plane, a lot of times through the little standoffs, will connect to the chassis. So the way that it drains off, unless you have an extra stud on the back, an extra binding post that says signal ground, which sometimes I've seen Nelson Pass's stuff has it. Um, if you don't have that, it's likely connected to the chassis ground, which is the third prong on your plug, your power plug. So that means you want to ground your gear very well. That's why they offer a plethora of ground enhancements. For every company has something or other for grounding. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a quick way to help yourself today. You can do it today without probably any trouble, maybe one screwdriver or something like that, and it's gonna cost you zero, okay? And this is how you do it. What you wanna do is make sure that your house ground is good. Every house has a ground rod. It needs to have a ground rod by code, by electrical code. If you don't have that, your house can start on fire, okay? When If there's lightning and yada yada. It needs to have, you. so in other words, you need to have a copper wire that goes from the inside of the house, whether it connects to your plumbing, whether it connects to your main panel, however you do it in your state, there's gonna be a copper wire that comes to the outside of the house that goes to a ground rod that sticks into the earth eight feet, okay? In our state, we need to have two of them, eight feet, eight feet, eight feet apart. So we need a double ground, so you might need that in your state, but you at least should have one. Two is even better, okay? A lot of times the lawnmower guys are out there, the, 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 the landscapers are running their mowers over and they hit that rod and it knocks the copper wire off. You don't know how many times I've gone out and I've looked at my rods and the wire is not even attached. It's just hanging there. It goes all the way to where the rod is, but it's out of the bonding clamp, okay? They'll have a lot of times a bonding clamp and that's where you bond your ground to the wire. To, or, or, I'm sorry, you bound your ground rod to the wire that goes to the house. Many times you have a defunct ground rod in your house and you don't even know about it. And here you are buying, spending money on ground stuff that you're putting into your system and you haven't even checked your house ground to see if your house ground is properly grounded. That will give you instant results just by walking out into your yard locating where your ground rod or rods are and making sure that they are both bonded tightly to that wire and that wire is bonded, it goes into the house and connects somewhere in the house. A lot of times the old way they would do it, they'd hook it to the copper plumbing. Um, 
and uh, or to the main panel or to the outside meter. It's going to be one of those three places. Make sure that you have a ground that goes out to the earth and that's connected well to that grounding rod. That's it. That's all you got to do today. Go out and check that. Make sure it's solid. And that is going to in, 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 that is going to help your audio system. Now, don't ask me how the hell you do that on a building if you live in a condo or an apartment. I've got no idea how they do that. Get yourself one of those th little prong. You get them at Home Depot. It's got three lights, like a red, a green, and a yellow. And you plug that into your wall socket. That will tell you if your house wiring is jacked up or not. That will tell you if you have a good ground or not, or if there's if there's somehow there's a bridge being made, a ground loop. You can tell from that little that little tool. I think they're maybe twenty bucks or less, maybe five, maybe nine bucks, five bucks on Amazon. You know, um, but the the idea of this message uh, that I'm giving you is check your house ground, make sure you have a good solid house ground that's bonded well. Okay, because if you don't, which many people don't, and they're clueless, your audio system will sound better the second you hook up your house ground, the second you reattach that wire that came off from the lawn guy. So. Just wanted to make that quick video, let you guys know it's another free tidbit that I offer. I could charge for it, but I don't do that. I give it to you free. So love you guys. See ya.